the next crypto bull run will start in Asia. I mean, just look at all of these titles. Investors see Japanese equities shining brighter on attractive valuations. Bitcoin trading in Japan rises as yen turns volatile and Japan to lift the ban on foreign stablecoins like USDT in 2023. Just as Dell Crypto highlights here, the Japan Prime Minister is creating an environment for crypto and thinks it can transform the internet. Furthermore, Singapore High Court has declared crypto to be property and Binance to start full services on a new Japan platform in August. We are at a critical point for Jasmine right now due to all the developments being made in Japan. Better still, Jasmine is in a prime position to ignite a bullish run as it has recently been moved from the innovation zone. So for some backstory, on the 10th of May 2023, Binance listed all the following projects right here and coins into the innovation zone. Now, understandably, there was a lot of negativity and FUD generated surrounding this decision. The innovation zone is a place where, quote, no progress projects are placed in. Therefore, they are at risk from being delisted from Binance. Now, there's been two updates. The first is relatively minor, as now all the projects that were previously in the innovation zone are now in the monitoring zone, which effectively is the exact same thing, just worded differently to deter the negativity. The second update, however, is massive for Jasmine as Jasmine got added to another zone called the Infrastructure Zone. Jasmine is the only project out of this whole list that got added to this zone, which I believe means CZ is planning something very big very soon with Jasmine. And who would be surprised? Binance Japan is around the corner. And for those who watched my video yesterday on Jasmine, CZ himself claimed that he believes that Japan are leading the way in Web3. To touch on this a little bit further, the names of some of the projects and coins that are also part of the infrastructure zone are huge. You have Chainlink, Quant, and many, many more. Jasmine has proved unequivocally that it is far from a no progress project. For one, Jasmine is a venture company of Sony, which is huge. This means that Sony is supporting Jasmine's growth, which again isn't all too surprising when you take time to consider that the founders and leaders of Jasmine or previously worked as the leading members of Sony. Secondly, 20,000 blockchain PC orders were received in Hong Kong and South Asia, so Jasmine's real-world utilities are in high demand in Asia. Better still, Jasmine's real-world utilities will be so much more than just their blockchain PC. As in October 2022, Harada, the Jasmine CFO, mentioned that the Jasmine smartwatches will be developed with partners so Jasmine will also develop a secure smartwatch. Now, very recently, as we can see here, Jasmine partner Borx announced the development of a smartwatch for the elderly in the United States market using Edge AI. As we already know, Jasmine have been marketing recently with the United States and Jasmine are also focusing on Edge AI. Sometimes we have to follow the clues, the clue being, Jasmine are currently in the process of getting a secure smartwatch built in the United States market, which segues perfectly into the next point. Thirdly, Jasmine are also focusing their market and their sales in other regions, not just in Japan, but also in the United States, the USA, and the entire world. The connections that Jasmine has already are insane, but the ones that they are creating are even more mind-blowing. BJIT, which is a company led by Jasmine Executive, Kazumasa Sato will be hosting Japan's economic minister and the ambassador of Bangladesh, as well as others to talk about the economic ties for a prosperous future. Furthermore, Binance Japan general manager Takashi Chino since 2016 has supported strategic discussions of the leadership team at the CEO office of PwC Japan. Now, PwC is a consortium member of NCCC. Just me announced back in December 2022 as we can see from the time of this article. It's strong support to NCCC's initiative to create carbon credits and revitalize the market. Sometimes, as I said earlier, we have to follow the clues. Japan's stance on Web3 and crypto is it's all in. And due to all the connection Jasmine has with Japan, their massive corporations, their government, the fact that Jasmine was the first crypto ever to pass Japan's regulations, the fact that Binance Japan is around the corner, we are at a critical point for Jasmine where there's a very good potential, a very high possibility 
to see Jazz be soar to the moon in the not so distant future. August could be the biggest month yet for Jasmine. So let me know down in the comments below, are you bullish on Jasmine? And just how high do you think Jasmine can go? Now, if you want other bullish projects to invest into, then check these videos on screen right now. But remember, it's just a coin. And I'll see you in the next video.